Okay, for this video, we're going to do ADSB using SDR Angel. You're going to need two applications. You're going to need the SDR Angel app and RTL SDR driver for the RTL SDR. Both of them are available at the Play Store. First, I'm going to plug in the RTL SDR. And we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to open up SDR Angel. It's going to request access to the RTL SDR. Hit OK. This one will be pretty easy because the presets are already loaded inside of it by a default. So you're going to go up to the top left hand corner. You're going to hit the three lines for the menu. And then you're going to go down to preferences. And then you're going to click configurations. In here, you're going to scroll up to ADSB. And you're going to go down to the right hand side down near where the close button is and right above that you're going to hit that icon and that's going to load the ADSB presets. So we'll hit that. Now it's loading up. I'm going to hit close and it'll show the configuration already loaded. In here, uh, if you don't have your location popping up correctly, sometimes it puts you in like Europe or something like that. You go up to the three lines up at the top again. You're going to go down to preferences again and you're going to select my position under here you're going to put in your your lawn lat and it'll tell you it'll drop your icon home icon where it's at with the if you hit auto update from gps it'll use the device's gps this works well on phones uh pcs they don't uh they may not automatically update using the gps so you may have to actually input the lat long so we'll hit okay and this is going to show where I'm at, so to speak. Now to begin receiving the uh, data downlink from the ADSB transponders, you're just going to start up the RTL SDR device, and you do that by hitting that purple play button up at the top. So looks like we're already receiving some some traffic here. So you'll notice when I'm zooming out. We're getting different aircraft and it's going to start, it'll slowly populate. It's basically depending on how everything's coming in and all the data that's, that's coming in with it. Sometimes you don't get all the data. Uh, sometimes you do. It can take, it can take a little bit to get all of it in. Um, but this shows on the screen, all of your received information. So on here, you've got the height, the altitude, and all these other, all this other information, um, all this is available for you. Uh, don't worry so much about all the data populating. Sometimes it just doesn't populate very quickly, um, or populate everything. It all kind of depends. So you can zoom in on these and say, select that aircraft and it'll highlight the aircraft that you're looking at. Now see, as it's populating a little bit more, it's starting to get that, that data refreshed and it'll just keep loading and keep populating that over and over again. So you can drag these over, you can, you can slide over, you can select whichever one you wanna hit, you can zoom back out and find it. So there's an aircraft. You can zoom in and you can see all that aircraft data right there. And that shows you how to do ADSB using the SDR Angel application.